have the artemisia again. Um, you can see it here now, we've done the treatment that uh, you saw before. So all the glue paste that was on the surface, the brittle glue has been scraped off to reveal the original surface. Um, you can also see the edges now, we've worked on these to uh, clean and remove any of the, the glue. And we've also worked on the seam. So this is the seam here, which is now repaired and we've put some small inserts of additional new canvas here and here little uh, losses that were in the seam and there's also a new piece of canvas here, a small insert. We've also uh, repaired the tear from the back and the front and you can see it here from the back so that's nice and, and flat and the whole surface is ready for the next treatment. It's, um, it's very smooth, we've removed any debris, anything from the previous lining, it's ready for the next lining. What we're going to do now is um, a moisture treatment which means that we will um, gently mist the the back of the painting with some water and then take it to the vacuum table where we apply some pressure and some gentle heat so that we can flatten uh, undulations on the surface. As you've seen, I've just sprayed the back of the painting with some deionized water and we've put it onto this table which is heated now at about 40 degrees centigrade. That allows us to uh, flatten the picture. Um, before there were some slight undulations at the edges and there were some raised cracks in these sort of areas which I've gone over also with a hot spatula from the front. Uh, in order to try and um, push those down a little bit, just massage them a little bit. Um, they won't go entirely, they won't disappear entirely, but they will go down a little bit. Um, and the reason why we have this white um, polyester sheeting here is that because there are residues of old glue left in the picture, we would need a release sheet between the painting and the metal top, otherwise um, we will end up with the painting stuck to the metal surface and this painting will not stick to this polyester so it acts as a very good release sheet. The table itself is uh, specially engineered and um, custom built for our profession. It has very controllable uh, heat source so at 40 degrees we know the whole surface more or less is at 40 degrees and the vacuum we can uh, have very good control over as well. At the moment we've got about sort of 30 millibars, which is quite a gentle pressure. As you can see, we can see the topography of the surface um, quite precisely. So if there are any lumps uh, in the surface due to anomalies in the weave at the back, we can address that later before the lining happens. The good thing about this treatment particularly before doing uh, an aqueous lining treatment, is that it gives us an idea of how the painting is going to respond to moisture before we do that treatment and gives us more confidence uh, when we come to do the lining. We'll now leave this painting on here for the next few minutes. Uh, and then we'll start to uh, dry and cool the picture at the same time. And that will take a, a, um, several hours to complete until it's back to room conditions. Mm -hmm. 